Good morning, everybody. This is Derek Day with your Everyday Encouragement, and today is Thankful Thursday. So we've started off with getting our week started with Motivational Monday. We turbocharged on Tuesday. We applied wisdom on Wednesday, and today we express our attitude of gratitude. And I have so many things in my life to be thankful for. Just the mere fact that I am alive this morning is a miracle. So I'm grateful for that. But today I want to express gratitude for family. And the first thing that I want to say is like at the top of my list, at the pinnacle, at the apex of my list is my wife, Angela. She is absolutely positively the most wonderful woman in the world to me. She uh, she gives me encouragement. She strengthens me and she challenges me. She never just she never gives me a free pass. And I'm going to tell you something, guys, if you're not married. Uh, look for that woman who, who will love you, who will encourage you, who will believe in you, but she will challenge you. She will not give you a free pass. I mean, everything that I say, and, and mind you, when I'm preaching, when I'm teaching, my wife is my is my greatest cheerleader, but she is also my toughest critic. And, and so I, I'm grateful for that. And the other thing is, is that she is my best friend. There is no human being <clears throat> on the planet that I'd rather be with than her. She is, you know, just, <laughs> I, I can't I can't really describe it, but I'm grateful to have a wife like that. I mean, we can just sit together in a room and not say anything. Just the mere fact that we're enjoying each other. And that's like how God does this, where, you know, we, how we re relate and react to God. It's like, it's just being in his presence. And, and because he dwells in us, we always have his presence. His presence is never far, is never gone, okay? This, the next thing I want to say is that I'm grateful for my sons because my sons, they, they are my hope. My hope for a better world, my hope for a better future, my hope for things changing in the earth because like I'm, I'm just not going to live long enough to do all of the things uh, that I'd like to see done. But if I impart certain things to my son and my and I'm not trying to get them to live, I'm not trying to live vicariously through them, but I want to share enough, impart enough to them so that the things that need, you know, that need to be done in the earth then maybe they'll get done through them. And they are awesome. Each one of them, they distinct personalities, distinct characteristics, uh, and, and each one of them is absolutely unique. And, and so there are things that, uh, that I deal with them on a generic level because I'm a dad and, and we have to, you know, have like a certain order in the house. But uh, by, by and large, I, I mean, I treat them all differently. I relate to them differently. I talk to them differently and I listen to them differently because they're all different but they are all wonderful. And that, again, is how God relates to us because he sees each one of us differently. So watch this. The things that he says to me, he probably won't say to you or the things that he, uh, that he hears from me, he won't hear from you. Everybody's different. And more to the point is that even though the Bible is something that's written you know, in, in a very global sense, it has a personal message for each hearer. So therefore, you know, people hear things differently and you have to, you have to give room and grace enough for that. I'm also grateful for my parents. You know, my parents were uh, two imperfect people, two young people when they got married and, and they made a lot of young people mistakes. But you know something though? I know that they love me and I know that they're there for me and, and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for my siblings. I have some of the most awesome siblings in the world and, and all of them, I, each and every one of them is profoundly successful in what they've set their hands to. And I'm, man, when I, when I think about my siblings, I'm like, wow, that's amazing what they've done, you know? And, and so it's just, it's just amazing to watch that as a brother, I'm proud. I'm, you know, as a younger brother, I'm proud of my older siblings. And as an older brother, I'm proud of my younger siblings. And, and we all, uh, we have a, a synergy. I mean, it's not perfect. You know, the, no, no family is. But you know what, though? I'm going to tell you, um, some of my siblings, and, and, and just, I mean, my siblings are some of my best friends. I'm just going to put it out there and just say it like that. 
the next thing that I want to say that I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for my for my my uncles, my aunts, my cousins, you know, and um, and then I want to give a shout out to my grandparents. All of my grandparents are deceased, but they were all unique and wonderful people in their own right. But my uncles and my aunts, my cousins, they have poured richly into my life. And my first cousins uh, are, are, are more like siblings than cousins. They're, they're, they're closer to me. They're as close to me as my siblings. Let's put it that way. And, and if any of you remember, if you're old enough like me, you know, where, where they grabbed a bunch of you and threw you all in the same bathtub when you were dirty, that, that's kind of how we roll. But last but not least, I want to thank my family who is not my family. I have, I have people who I call brothers and sisters who are not my blood I have cousins, I have uncles, I have aunts that they are not my blood kin, but you know, they have poured richly into my life. And I'll tell you something, you know, that when, when Angela and I got married, there were more Verdeers at, my, at our wedding than there were Days or Stoudemires, which are my blood kin. You know, and that's not anything against them. It's just that this is how much these people love me and they believed in me. So that's, you know, I'm grateful I'm grateful for family and some of the, the ministry family that I've that I've been connected with over the years. You know, people like Jeremiah Johnson and Henry Harris and Jake Stringer, um, uh, Paul Bishop and uh, man Ed Delph and Robert Richardelli and Terry Tripp and and I could just go on and on and on. Uh, Kyle Butler, Lynn Bennett, Tony Calloway, uh, Royce Robinson. I, oh, so many, so many. My family, my tent has just enlarged so much in ministry. And I'm grateful for each and every one of them because, you know, one of the things about my ministry family, my, my brothers and sisters in ministry, uh, Catherine Toon, Amber Picotta, um, Cindy DeGroote, you know, they they challenge me and they don't give me a free pass either. You know, it's like if, if I say something that, that, that may be bleeding edge, they'll check me on it and, and give me a chance to give an account of myself. So I'm grateful. I, listen, if you have family, and family doesn't always mean blood kin. Be grateful and tell these folks all the time that you love them. You know, and God, and, and here I'm up here in Northern California this week and I'm working with uh, with my customer, but I'm working with a team of colleagues. One guy I knew for over 10 years, another guy I've known for over 20 years. And these guys, they're my colleagues, but shoot, they're my brothers too. You know, they're my family. And so I'm grateful for them. It, it's like, it, when, when God enlarges your tent to, to bring people into your life, man, you need to express gratitude for that. I'm grateful for all these people who God has allowed me to connect with because this is my family. This is my tribe. And, and, and listen, when you find your tribe, love them hard. <laughs> <laughs> Find your tribe and love them hard. And I promise you that that, that will uh, change a lot of the outlook on your life. So that's what I have for you today. I kind of rambled on a little bit, but I, I wanted to give some gratitude for some really important people in my life. I am grateful, grateful, grateful for everyone who I call family. And that being said, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up at www.derekday.com or facebook.com forward slash Derek Day Ministries, or you can hit me up on Instagram or Twitter at Derek E. Day, that's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-E-D-A-Y, or you can find my videos on YouTube, the channel's called Derek Day, or the Agape Dominion Podcast, which you can download from iTunes or Google Play. And that being said, at the end of the day, we're all family, and because we're family, I can say this. With, all, with everything in my being, that God loves you, and so do I. Stay blessed.